Okay, so what we have here is a Y61 Patrol. These are a crack of a rig still are today. Um, they were sold up until 2015 alongside the Y62 because people still wanted a diesel patrol. Uh, and why not? Um, look, these things are a brute of a truck. Uh, Off-road, they're brilliant, they're comfortable to drive. The engine's strong, the diffs are strong, the gearboxes are strong. They're just a great all-round off-road vehicle. They are very much underpowered. It's as simple as that. You put a tow bar on it and you're in a world of hurt. So the options are in that situation is what do you do? You sell it and go and buy a Y62. Hey, I don't mind that idea. But what if you want a diesel? You're not gonna go buy a Toyota. So what we have is a, a, a plan to fix this, to make it do what it needs to do, um, to be strong, to be drivable, to be able to overtake other cars with it. Um, and I think you'll be surprised with the outcome. The first port of call is our dyno, where we will test to see that the car is in good working order before we start the modifications, and to also set a baseline power and torque figure. Once everything has been checked out and we're good to go, we first remove the standard turbo. We will be replacing this unit with a G-Turbo G300 Bad Boy Turbo. This will minimise lag while maintaining great boost response and it will lower turbine drive pressure for increased fuel efficiency. It will also give us better boost and torque earlier in the rev range plus extra mid-range torque which is especially effective for towing. While you're here, please take a second to hit that like button and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button to make sure that you get all the latest updates from the Horsepower Factory. If you'd like to know more about our packages, go to our website, hp-f.com.au. Now, it's back to the video. With the rusty old exhaust removed, we can now fit the high flow exhaust system. This stainless steel three inch system will help to remove restriction, which in turn allows the turbo to spool up earlier. The full system will also give us a sporty note without being offensive or over any legal sound limits. Although not part of our Stage 3 upgrade, this customer opted to fit a HPD transmission cooler. It's not imperative, but this is a great bit of kit and worth considering if you do a fair bit of towing and want to go all out on your rig. Next, it's time to take off the tiny standard intercooler and replace this with the Cross Country 4x4 Ultimate Intercooler Kit. These hand-built units are made in Australia with a PWR core, a top-of-the-range aftermarket unit that is the only item available with ADR compliance. Here you can see just how much bigger the new unit is compared to the original. Underneath we find the large thermofan that draws air through while the car is at low speeds. Before we fit the intercooler, we will first mount a Process West TerraTuff catch can. With a sophisticated internal filtration system that takes the oil polluted air coming from the rocker cover, it scrubs the oil mist from it before it goes back into the inlet manifold. This stops dirty oil filling up the intercooler and inlet system, resulting in both reduced performance and economy over time. Now it's on with the new intercooler which fits neatly under the bonnet. The new intercooler will promote much more consistent power especially under heavy load or towing conditions. The kit comes complete with a much larger bonnet scoop that is colour matched to suit your car. With everything together it's back onto our dyno for a custom ECU remap. This thing now, look, it's the equivalent of any of the current model V6 diesels you can buy. That ZD was detuned from the start, and what we've done now is just brought it up into the 21st century. And as you've seen from the graphs, an amazing outcome. Uh, the thing's picked up from, what, 70 kilowatts at the wheels to 150. Right, and the engine's still safe as houses. And it's still going to tow with it, so it'll be great. It's still a three litre common rail diesel. Why can't it make that sort of grunt? And, and that's not us doing silly stuff with it, it's still got a reasonable amount of boost in it, 
the fueling's very, very safe because this thing's got a tow uh, and the intercooler in on the top there to maintain the temperatures. Mate, this customer, uh, once he drives this car, they're going to be wrapped. Good replacement for a Y62 any day.